Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've done a colouring haul because I haven't been colouring, so I haven't been buying much. So what I have got here is a set of books and I am missing one, so I'm just going to go grab it. That I've bought uh, this year or at the end of last year that I haven't shown you on the channel yet. <coughs> I am trying now to make time to do some colouring. <coughs> Excuse my cough, I've got a chest infection again. Um, for at least half an hour to an hour every evening. I'm not doing much, I'm just doing a bit. So I thought I'd start with videos. So everybody's in bed, so why not? So before I go to bed, I'm going to make this video. So the first thing I bought was this set of 100 gel pens. I haven't used them yet. I don't know what they're like. I got them from Amazon. It does open up somehow like that. So you can see, see, got all different colours. You've got sparkly ones, you've got metallic ones and so on. I find I use the metallic ones up a lot quicker than <coughs> any of the others. So I think they were a tenner for these hundred. So they'll, be, they'll do me for now. So on to the colouring books. So the first one I've got is a Marilyn Monroe colouring book. Now we've seen this book before with a different colour cover. So what I was originally going to do, it's not very good paper, it's very thin. Um, I'm going to colour this one and keep the other one in good condition at as part of my Marilyn collection. It's exactly the same pictures, I'm pretty sure of it. So it's not a brilliant book, they're very small clip art type stuff, but it would be fun to do and, and something when I'm in a Marilyn kind of mood. So that's the first one. Next one to the Colour in Heaven books I've picked up. I don't buy them every month or every time out because if I don't know the subject matter, I'm not going to buy them. I am thinking about taking out a subscription at the end of the year though and just seeing what comes. So the first one I've got is the Gothic Fairies Special, issue 45 from Mike Gelina. These are actually really nice. I don't know if I'll ever do them. I'm not really into the grayscale. I might do these pictures like this. But this sort I'm not really into, but these ones I'll probably do. I don't know. I've got lots of Colour in Heaven books. You've seen them before on the channel and I've never actually coloured in one. I started colouring in one of the Christmas ones. I like buying them. I just don't use them. So the second one is issue uh, 46, which was the Nouveau Fantasy Special. Now these I do like. This is something I probably will colour in because it's very fantasy based and I do like fantasy based books so I like the ones in that one this is just gonna be quick if you want to see a flip through of any of these just leave a comment down below I'm happy to do a full one um, we've got the steampunk special which I had to have because of course it's Hannah Lynn I do like Hannah Lynn I do like doing her her girls I, I mean I don't have many of the books maybe two or three um, but I do like these, so that's a nice one. That's why I had to have it, because I do like the Hannah Lynn pictures, so I thought I'd get that one. And it's just going to show how few I've bought. We're in August now, and, and the last one I picked up was issue 49, which was Woodland Fairies, because I just liked them. Again, they're grayscale, a lot of them, and I don't do grayscale very much. I've, it's not something that appeals to me. I know some people really love it. But there's some nice designs here. I mean, that's really nice, but I don't know if I'd ever colour in it, because grayscales I find intimidating. Maybe I will. Who knows? One day. They're really nice ones. This one you have seen on this channel, this is one I started a colour and chat on ages ago and never finished it, which was Romantic Country. The second tale, we were doing this. I have done a bit more on it, not a lot. It's just got a HMRC form in the back. But I do like these, I do want to get the third one as well. But they are so detailed, I like that one, I want to do that one, I think. I think I want to do that one. But I just love the details in them. They're really nice books. Another one I picked up um, when I was on a whim and just thinking I want to buy a current book was Nightfall by Maria Trollet. 
I haven't done anything in this. I mean, I've only done one picture in another book. The, um, I don't know what it's called. That's terrible. I'm really not with it. I saw a fox one. It's cute. But I really like these hardback books. And I really do like these designs. Now, that's a really nice one. So I know I will do it. I mean, like, one of my goals was to do a picture in every single book I've got. But as you can tell by how I'm doing and the fact that I don't colour very much these days, it's not going to happen very soon, sadly. I am working on it, though. I started a new colouring book the other day, in fact. Well, yesterday. Um, this is Colour Therapy Anti-Stress Adult Colouring Book. This is one ninety nine in a charity shop. They must have got a load of overstock because they had a big pile of them. And I thought, I am going to pick it up just because I can and they're just like you know fairies and angels and oh that's a nice one very detailed thin paper it's not brilliant paper but do you know what it's just fun I like this one well for $1.99 I wasn't going to leave it in the charity shop so the charity benefited and so did I Next is William Shakespeare, an adult colouring book by Odessa Begay, or Begay. I saw this one on Grace Fonseca's channel. I've got to be honest, I don't watch a lot of colouring videos. I just haven't got the time to watch as much as I want to. I do try and watch them. Um, but I can't really watch the live streams because they're always side on. And I don't watch on my phone, so I can't turn my phone around to watch it. I watch on my TV. I can't turn my TV around. But I did see this on Grace's channel and I thought I have to have it. I love anything Shakespearean anyway. It's very detailed. And this one was from Amazon. Yeah, there's lots of, I, I love Shakespeare. So I'm quite happy to pick up anything Shakespearean every now and again. And some of it's just wallpapery stuff, and then you get these lovely pictures like this. And you get the, the quotes, which is nice. It's just a really pretty book, so yeah, we'll have a go at that at some point. I'm going to have to change my battery, and I'm going to have to go upstairs to get the battery, because they're all upstairs, because I'm daft that way. Okay, I've changed my battery, sorry about that. All right. So the next one is Secret New York, Colouring for Mindfulness by uh, Zoe de las Casas. And again, because I was just looking around W. H. Smith and I thought, I want a book. Oh, this flaming tripod's a nightmare. It keeps falling down for some reason. I don't know why. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, it's not very good, to be honest. Right, that'll do. It's better. Um, I, I was looking through W. H. Smith, wanting a colouring book, I looked at tons and then I decided to get the New York one. So you can just use, I'm going to use the gel pens on this, maybe do uh, black backgrounds with some um, paint, acrylic paint. You've got your phone booths, you've got us all sorts of stuff, brownstones, Statue of Liberty, all sorts of things that are New York related. So I really like it. Central Park, Palace Theatre, so there's that one, I just fancied one and I was going to colour it straight away and I just didn't, you know what I'm like. Uh, next one was an Amazon order and it's The Buns by Dia Lenaham, can't pronounce your name, sorry dear. Um, wanted it for a while, could have got it off of Etsy but I wanted it quick so. I really like it. I mean, the pictures are stunning. It's a bit intimidating for me, but I will have a colour in it when I get round to it. I really like it. I might order the next one off of her Etsy page. The lines are very thin. You can hardly see it, but there we go. Yeah, I, I like that. They're really, really beautiful pictures. The little goldfish in the bowl is, is lovely. So that one's that. And I haven't been showing you the backs because I've been a bit of a ditz. Next one I've got is an uh, adult colouring book, 100 Mag Magical Patterns by Jade Summer. This is a really thick book with really simple patterns in it. And I did got this one because I thought I'd be able to do this. I can sit on the sofa, Je Jennifer won't bother me. And I can just colour in bits of them and have done with it. And I have been. 
I love these little 3D images. They are simple. Not all of them are simple. Some are a bit more complicated than others. There's one here I've been working on. You can see that because it's got that in there. Because I've been using Sharpies. And that's all I've done with it. And that's terrible. And that's how it goes with me. I've got a couple of these on the go. You'll see over the next few. But I really like the book. And... They're just really nice, mad, but nice patterns. Then I've got a couple of Creative Haven books. I've got uh, the Day of the Dead colouring book. As you can see, there's a piece of paper in here because I have been working in it. I do like this. I'm not big on Sugar Skulls and Day of the Dead, but I did want a Day of the Dead book. And I chose this one. It was hard to choose which picture to do first. Um, but if we find it it's this one here again I've been using sharpies and I still haven't finished it I will um, when I can get my sharpies out because unfortunately with Jennifer she keeps grabbing them and trying to take the tops off and she is learning how to do things like take the tops off I really like that book and I do like the creative haven books the next one is another creative haven book and it is a flower mandala colouring book I have done some in this one I think but again they got black backgrounds and I just like the simplicity some are really complex I thought I had done one in this but maybe I haven't maybe I started one and stopped who knows but I do like it but if you want a complete flip through just let me know I obviously haven't I must do one in there then I really like that book I think it's really nice now the next two are ones I picked well I ordered yesterday and they arrived today from Amazon um, again I saw this one on somebody's channel I can't remember who it was I was watching a load of colouring hauls I haven't watched any for a while I wanted to and it's called Fashionable 50s 35 beautiful illustrations great for relaxations by Lightburst Media so it's probably Create Space yes it is it's Create Space it's Amazon it doesn't bother me at all. I colour for fun, not because I'm an artist, believe me, I am not an artist. There's a lot of blank pages in the back though. There's some of the other books. And so there's all 50 styles. I love the 50s. So I thought I'd get a few, get this book. I'm working in a Vogue 50s colouring book at the moment, which is really nice. Uh, I like that. So we picked that one up as well. I think it was something like, it was only six or seven pounds, so about 12 or 13 pounds on current books. Only bought two. But I like that one. And then the last one is from one of my favourite artists, Selena Fennec. And it's her Fairy Tales, Princesses and Fables colouring book. So, got Jack and Beanstalk, Hansel and Gretel, Aladdin, Rumpelstiltskin. Sleeping Beauty, Princess and the Pea, Snow White, Wild Swans, Frog Prince, and so on, Goose Girl, um, Diamonds and Toads, and absolutely fantastic. And on the on the left, it tells you the title of the picture and a little bit about the fairy tale as well. And as with all Selena Fennec, there are two of each, so you can colour them in two different ways if you so wish. At the back we've got some samples from her other book which I hadn't looked at. So there's the mermaids one. I haven't got that mermaids one. I need to get it. I've got gothic. I really like gothic. I haven't got fedorables. It's the cutesy stuff. I'm not big into the cutesy. I will get it at some point. Goddess colouring book is one of my favourites. That's a lovely one. And a bit about her. And there, that's the back of that one. So those are all the colouring books I've bought from the end of December through to the end of July, beginning of August. So I can't tell you when I'm going to do another colouring book haul because I really don't know if or when I'm going to buy any more. So I'm not going to say I'm going to do one every month, but I will say that I will do one before the end of the year. So I would imagine that around December time, maybe as part of Vlogmas, there will be a colouring book haul. Um... I might buy some more pens and pencils or stuff like that. So if I get any of that, I'll make a note of what's new and keep it separate. Um, I probably will do a flip, flip through of fairy tales because I think it's really nice. I might do one of the fashionable 50s as well. If you want to see flip throughs of any of these books, I'm sure most of them have already been done. Just leave me a comment down below. I'm happy to do that. 
or if you've watched any of my other Cohen hauls and there's a Cohen book you want to flip through I will do that as well so that's it for this colouring haul um, like I said I will do a flip through of this one um, probably not right this minute I might do though yeah I'm trying to think I was going to say something so um, yeah I probably will do a comp I was going to do at the beginning of the year a complete colouring book show and show you all my colouring books but it's really hard for me to bring them all down up from upstairs at the moment so what I might do is um, have to do it in parts and just record it slowly but I might leave it till the end of the year do you want to see it now um so do you want me to do a complete coloring book collection video now or do you want to wait until January the first week of next January I mean it's a long way off so you might want it now if you want it now that's fine I've only got about 120 130 books it's not going to be exotically long like uh, Sharon's or Grace's which was like eight hours long because I haven't got that money, I'm a many. I'm not buying as much because I haven't just haven't got the time. What with um, work, looking after Paul and Jennifer, uh, obviously with Paul broken ankle, um, Jennifer being a baby, and trying to run my own eBay business, I just don't have a lot of spare time. Though I am making time to colour now, which I wasn't. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm packing Jennifer off to bed as I should, and spending an hour sitting on the sofa with Paul, having a cup of tea, eating a biscuit, and colouring in some of the books. So what I might do is start doing colouring chats again, but again, they will be sh a lot shorter than they used to be. At the most, they're going to be about 20 minutes long. And again, I, what I'll do is I'll do it after Paul goes up to bed. I'll clear a space on the table, set everything up and try and do it. But uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this long rambly video. I um, hope you've enjoyed these books. Like I said, I will do uh, one of the fairy tales book. And I will see you all very, very soon. Take care, peeps. Bye.